it's Queen Deidre, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reviewing to episodes 3 and 4 of season 2 of Kan. I just did something really stupid. So, I started my reaction, I was like maybe 2-3 seconds into the episode, and I'm thinking, okay, I got the sub, and I literally hear the English voice actress for Yui, and I freak out, and I was like, oh my god, I just, I downloaded the dub when I thought I downloaded the sub, so now I'm currently downloading the next episode for it. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Hopefully it'll be done downloading before I finish this episode. It is different, let's just say that, because I've never seen a turtle with a pig snout nose. Of course, Moogie would have. <laughs> Are you okay? This girl did not really just say that. She didn't say she was tired of jumps. She's the one who was like, yeah, let's have a band. Does that mean this is the end of HTT? Nah. Mm -mm. Not yet. Not until the movie. I know one show that I watched on my first channel. I think it's um, oh, Daily Lights High School Boys. The um the high school girls are funky miniseries. They actually made fun of this show, and then did um they talked about the uh the movie because the only thing I knew about this show is in the movie they go to London, and I was like I think they're talking about that one show that I a lot of people want me to watch Chaos, and I did a little research, didn't watch the movie, just looked up certain things. I was like, all right, did they go to London? Yeah. So, but still, I am really excited to watch the movie, but we're not going to get there till about, I want to say August, August or October, maybe. I can't even give you an exact date. Like, no, I can possibly maybe give you a, an exact date when we get to the halfway point. We're still at the start of this, so we got a long way to go. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh <laughs> Well, uh, her leg, damn. Well, maybe it's just the lighting's fault, but they didn't position it correctly. Or we can just move you. Mm. 
no, no. Because if you say, oh, no, for like experience issues. No, girl. Mm-mm. And they're actually going to go through the this. I mean, she looks good with it. But it's not her. That's the thing. Oh, God. Girl, are you serious? Yeah. It's such a good teacher of a guy. Yeah, you didn't understand that, did you? Mm hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, now it's getting complicated. Uh-huh. See, just do the drums. Did you do something different? Yeah. What did she do? Was she out with a man? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Moogie. Seriously? I can't imagine that. I mean, that is a lot of food. I mean, like, but heck, that makes me hungry. And I, like, literally just ate, but I gotta start cooking dinner soon. Oh my god, can you give this up, honey, and just play the drums? <laughs> oh my god, Mookie.
Hmm? <laughs> oh, Mio. So, well, technically, returns aren't even through every instrument without, you know, the bass. So then she maybe just needs to stay with the drums. Yeah, short as the tall is gonna be good. Um, yeah, you should be down in front. <laughs> Did she really do that? <laughs> Thank God it wasn't anything funny. You always gonna play the drums. Mm. It is. Isn't that a little too much light on her, I'm guessing? Um. Huh? No, 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 no. <sighs>
What's up? No. But then how are you going to sing and play the drums at the same time? I mean, yes, multitasking. Good on you. But at the same time, I, I can't imagine, like, I, I don't think some of my favorite bands even have the drummer, like, sing as much. If they do, like, they have the microphone, but he only, he or she, maybe does, like, a couple and then just does the chorus part. I would assume you would miss it by now. She keeps a really good beat, though. <laughs> uh, of course, Mio would be so scared in the morning. Oh my god, Yui! <laughs> Salvation? What happened to you? Of course. Yeah, 
Exactly. Sounding like little freaking squirrels. Oh my god. Are you up there? <laughs> that was cute. Okay. One quick question about it since Moogie has now written the song basically, or, you know, with her own music, do they all have character songs? Because if you, um, if any of you have currently seen Banditti, if they see the one or season two, or play Banditti Girls Band Party, uh, Popping Party has their own character songs. I kind of wish Rosalia had their own personal ones, but only Popping Party does. It, it would make sense because if Moogie can sing, that means everybody, like, well, really everybody in this dang group sings anyway. So it would just make sense for them to just freaking have character songs that they would perform. Then it also makes you wonder if during this show, the airtime of it, if they did lives for them and they had people come to the concerts and then for maybe a year or two, they did it and then they just stopped because of the fact that the series was over and everything. Maybe. I don't know. I would have to do research, like a lot of research. But the opposite was good. I do like the fact that Reed Chan was like, I want to play the guitar. I want to play the keyboards. But she didn't play the bass. Because Mio's love for it, but she, no matter what, she got led back to her jobs, the freaking instrument that she was made to play no matter what. But it was good. It was adorbs. And almost having Yui, like, wanting to play the freaking guitar, the guitar, the drums, and then having the freaking drums in the center, freaking hilarious. I like one of the countdown. So let me go. Skill trip? Senior trip? Wait. How do y'all get lost? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I mean, no, because hold on. When I was in New York, I, did, I, did I ever get lost in New York? No, I didn't get lost in New York. But I, I met some people who have gotten lost in New York when they go into, like, the Macy's. If you go into a really big behind store, you'll come in one day ending, I mean, one opening, and then out the other. And you're like, oh, my God, this is the same place. So my teachers kind of advised us to not go into any big stores that have multiple openings. I was like, oh, great. But, I mean, you know... Richan, she's just born to play the freaking drums. I can't imagine, like, if Yui, Azanyan, Mugi, or even Mio was like, screw it, I want to play the drums. I just, I think the atmosphere of the group and having the dynamic change 
it would have been really off for me. And then it's like, but I've seen you guys always do the the instruments that you were quote unquote born to play. And if you decide, oh hey, I want to play something else, it's just the dynamic of it. It's just off. And then everybody else is gonna be like, oh well, I want to play this or I want to play that. I'd rather do this instead of the instrument I'm usually doing. But Thank God it wasn't really like that, kind of, um, because seriously, when Yui was just playing around and Uwe was like, what are you doing? That's bad manners. I was like, oh God, she's going to want to play the drums and uh, it's not going to work out. But thank God that didn't happen. It's just, mm. in the end, everything happens for a freaking reason. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. Go get episode uh, four and I will see you guys in one second. Bye for now. Okay, episode four and three, two, one, go. I wonder how the hell y'all got lost in Kyoto, but we're gonna find that out. I was about to say, hopefully, you haven't seen your passport, but you're still gonna be in Japan, so. <laughs> Oh, I didn't pay attention. That was Uwe fucking. <laughs> of course, Uwe's gonna pack her stuff up. Yui's gonna be asleep. I'm thinking, like, oh shoot, like, Yui is up. She ready? Yeah. <laughs> fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> that makes you wonder if there's going to be any time where Uli is going to disguise herself as you again. <laughs> uh -huh. God, I just want to figure one of these girls. Either that or just buying the whole dang series on DVD, but I think I think the Blu-ray of this series is like $130, almost 200 I believe. I don't know, I'd have to check Amazon again. I still want to know what happened to Sawa-chan since I, like, you used so much and your face wasn't beautiful My thing is, is that uh, over an eye filter? It's gonna be weird just because it's the four of them and it's not Azanyan, best girl, best girl at school. Damn. Please, because I feel like Yui is going to do something really stupid. Well, you also have Mugi, but Mugi, I, I don't know. 
Mogi and Mio, they're the parents, and yeah. <sighs> well, I mean, when you're on a big trip like this and you have a whole bunch of kids with you, she's got to make roll call because if you lose one, you lose several, and then you're looking everywhere trying to find someone. Mm -hmm. ah, it's fine. Do it. Is the sweets first and then the tea? Two dummies would just figuratively rub that ish. <laughs> so much fun. And they're going to run back.
<laughs> yeah, moving their pillows. Make it a hit. Oh, so almost like the game of life? The Yuri is strong with this episode. <laughs> ah, children. Mm. My God, you guys are going to get in trouble even more. Oh my god, go to sleep. Oh my god, you eat? <laughs> Well, damn, these two ain't listening.
No. A monkey park. <laughs> Are there monkeys around? Mm. Yeah, I mean, that would be good, but how about something smaller? Are we sure the train station is that way? Yep. Yes, we are. We're lost. Uh, there's no service. Uh. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, my God. True. Usually, if you file an auto call, you go home. Oh, God. They're all going to become lost for the night. Ah.
please. Yeah, but y'all did. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I didn't even know that she was still in there. I thought she left. That was a cute behind trip, but I still hate the fact that they got lost, but <laughs> the fact that they found another cut, and I was like, oh my god, saving hope, oh my god, like, they might buy the freaking train station, and then another cut was like, do you know where the train station is? Once I heard that, I'm like, yep, there's no way in hell they're getting home, but they made it, thank god, but, like, I kind of wish that they just would have called, they probably did call Sawachan Sensei, but after walking around 10 or 20 more times, of course, but you know, seeing Kyoto like still in an anime version of it instead of it in IRL is still nice. I mean, between this and then um, when I watched Blue Actress of Kyoto Saka, oh, it's so good, so pretty and gorgeous. Just makes me want to travel so bad because I really want to travel and get out of the country and see other places besides where I am the whole entire time, but it was sweet. They got to learn more, like, pet some monkeys, not really pet monkeys, but feed the monkeys, shop, didn't really shop for their families, though. I mean, but heck, when you're on vacation, technically, you know, you spend that money on yourself. I did when I went on vacation with my trip, <laughs> with my school, when I went to New York and Georgia and freaking New Orleans. I spent all that money on myself. I was like, mm -mm, nope. <laughs> so are we going to get an episode of Azanyan and Uwi while they're on their field trip? Yeah, that's sweet. I really like that. That's nice because while I was watching this episode, even though, you know, Azanyan and Ui, they can't go because they're still first years, I'm like, at least do a little episode. It could have been like a 10, 15 minute episode. Just a little short thing of like, oh, hey, Azanyan, Ui, what did you two do while the four of us were in Kyoto for like a couple of days? Which is, it, it's nice. Do that. I, I wish a lot of series would do that because if you have the four main characters plus other main characters also like staying behind, they'll typically just do something about the four main characters or how many other main characters there are. And then whoever didn't go, they typically don't do anything. Hence, Aikatsu because I feel like Aikatsu is not going to do anything 
when Mio and Aime come back from their trip a month abroad. And yeah, it's not fair. But it was a good episode. This makes me want to go somewhere else. Outside of the United States. Taking me to freaking London. Paris, Rome, somewhere. Somewhere that is like exotic and that I've never been before. Heck, I would love to go to freaking Mexico because I've always wanted to go. But yeah. It was a really heartwarming episode, even though they got freaking lost. Like, I mean, I can understand, like, when you are not home, you're technically home, but not really, because I've met people who have gotten lost on the way to their house if they take a different route. And I was like, how in the world do you get lost? But then we're also talking about people who I know, like my mother, my mom can get lost very easily. And I'm like, mommy, were you using the GPS the whole entire time? No. Why? Uh, but if you're in a different state and you don't know, like if you, like when I lived, okay, no, if you moved to a different state and you remember how to get home in whatever state you previously lived in, lived in and you're in this brand new state, you have no idea in how the world to get to home, the store, anything. You have to take them trips and kind of quote unquote get lost to find your way back home. Yes, we got GPS now, but like in twenty two thousand and two thousand and three. Yeah, two thousand three because I was in third grade. We ain't had GPS at that time. I mean we had we kinda had Tom Tom but not as much as we do now. But yeah. Use GPS for everything. Don't automatically get an old behind map out and be like, mm, if we go this way, always ask if you can't find anything. That's the best thing that Richan and everyone else did was freaking ask. And I thought that with the fact that they were with Nautica, I'm thinking like, okay, Nautica's going to go around and ask and be like, okay, do you know where this place is? And then they probably would have gotten like lost once again. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 3 and 4 of season 2 of K-On. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episodes 5 and 6. Bye, guys.